Hola clase. Uh, ahora uh, hacemos una otra actividad y no hablo muy bien español. Uh, so, thank you, Maestro León, for translating. <laughs> trato, trato de aprender todos los días, pero no hablo muy bien yet. <laughs> so, we are making um, mercellagos de filtros de café. Coffee filter bats. So, for this project, you will need one coffee filter. I'm going to be making two. Uh, it's going to take some time to dry, so this will have to be done in two, two steps. So, first part, you need a purple and black marker. You could use any colors, but they tend to look better in purple and black. And you are going to need some scissors. And you are going to need some water. And I highly recommend doing this on something that can be easily washed off. Or lay out a trash, like a plastic trash bag, and do this on top of the trash bag. But this can be washed, so I'm just going to do this directly on here. Don't go crazy with the water. All right, first we are going to, this is going to be our bat wings. Okay, so first we are going to make them a little spookier. So you're gonna fold your um, coffee filter in half. Actually, you can even fold it in quarters so that you have a quarter circle. And then you're gonna cut little bits out to make our slightly spookier looking wings. We want them to look a little bit more like bat wings. I like bats. I think they're cute. But they're also really cool. So we're gonna have something that looks a little more like this. This is the untouched coffee filter. Now we get to be all crazy. We want to color this different colors. You could add in blue, pink, whatever you want, but the most Halloween y colors are usually black and purple. And that looks, although most bats are actually gray and brown. So I am going, trying to make some designs. You don't have, you could just scribble scrabble all you want. Just get the color onto the filter any way you want. And I'm going to do one without that we didn't cut out and one that we did. So just scribble, color, more color, color. And Leah's in the other room making lots of noise. <laughs> So again, we want lots of color on this any which way. And again, blue, green, brown. I think we everyone should have at least a purple and a black marker. So remember, we're going to need to let these dry for a little while in order for them to turn out the best. So we're going to need a place for them to dry. So it could, I, again, I highly recommend using trash bags. I included some. Now you're going to take a little bit of water. If you have a spray bottle that has just water in it, that would be great. But otherwise, we're just going to flick gently a little bit of water onto our coffee filter. And the colors will start to spread out and bleed. Bleed. Now you can aid the process by trying to spread it out. We want the color to go all over the place. 
more color is better, even more than I put on these is better. And eventually you're going to get, but see, it does leak through here a little, but it, it should come right off a desk or a hard surface. But don't get too close to anything you don't want stained. Okay, and you can see this one. I actually left some parts dry because that kind of looks more spooky. And so the best thing to do is to let that dry. But while we're letting it dry, and I'm going to move it a little bit over here. Ah. Oh. Clean up, clean up. Or just get on another surface. A plate works. Because <laughs> I don't have any paper towels. Now we're going to take our black clothespin while our wings are drying. We're going to take our black clothespin. We're going to point it so that the, the, the ends of the clothespin are down. And we're going to put a little face of our bat on the top where it the pin goes. Don't pinch your finger too much. So in this case we're going to get a glue stick, hack glue stick, and some eyes, googly eyes. You can also draw on the eyes if you don't like googly eyes. These eyes are way, way, way too big for my teeny tiny little clothespin but so what it kind of cool if you have smaller eyes though so and it's probably a good idea to let that dry for a little bit and then everyone should have a white marker okay and you might want you might need to actually like get some, make sure it actually is working. And you can also use a white pencil, a white crayon, and you can add a smile. And I am adding some little vampire teeth. <laughs> Although vampire bats don't really have giant teeth, <laughs> but we're being all Halloween spooky, right? So, when this has dried, and ours is not yet dry, but I would like to see, show you what it will eventually look like, you probably want to do this a couple hours or even the next day. But if you don't have time, so you fold it in half, and then you're going to cut up, not all the way, just to there. And then you're going to use your paper clip, your paper clip, clothespin, and you're going to go through that slit up. And once it's dry, these will actually hold up like wings. And we have our little bats. Vasiliago. Adios.